Him because that river has the peace of God and that river has the wisdom of God and the healing of God. And for the next 30 seconds, open your mouth. There's an atmosphere for supernatural to manifest right now. Father, I thank you for your goodness. We thank you that you're the King of kings and the Lord of lords. There's none like you. You're our safe place, our refuge, our strong and mighty tower. You're our Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals us. You're Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides, and El Shaddai, the God that is more than enough. There's a mighty river flowing right now. And everything that would clutter our spirit, our mind, our soul, our body, everything that would attach itself that is not of you, God, is washed away right now. Strongholds are broken. Soul ties are broken. Things that have attached themselves, thoughts, are being broken in the name of Jesus by the blood covenant of Jesus. Every sickness is being reversed. Iniquity is being broken. Transgressions are being broken in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you for a mighty manifestation of healing cancer right now is leaving your body sugar diabetes hepatitis C God is healing it right now in the name of Jesus there's a woman with a lower back condition God is healing you right now there's a supernatural manifestation of healing schizophrenia personality disorders generational curses are being broken I thank you for your goodness and your grace by the blood of Jesus the Bible says if two of you agree is touching anything I want you to turn to the person next to you and just ask them what did you come to the house believing God for what did you come believing God for and just begin to pray over that person just come in agreement you don't have to quote 32 scriptures just just come in agreement there is a mighty river flowing and that river has healing and that river has peace and God's provision and if two of you agree as touching anything coming in alignment with anything in the name of Jesus it will be done so I set myself in agreement with every petition and every request that is going before the throne of God I speak over your family over your finances over your destiny over your purpose I call it blessed your favorite of God anything that is out of order there will be a divine reversal a course correction even this day Lord we come before you with open hearts hungry hearts and open heads and we say we need you desperately anything in our life that's not alignment with you reveal it to us we repent of it God and we thank you for your goodness being released we thank you for your covenant we thank you for your glory the weight of your splendor being made manifest. Do what only you can do, not by might and not by power, but by your spirit. Flood this house. Let us not just get an ankle or knee deep, but let us be submerged, immersed in the spirit of God. From glory to glory to glory to glory. Such a pleasure being in your presence. There's none like you. God's just holding you right now. He's hugging you right now. He's restoring you right now. He's breathing life into you. He's removing burdens from you. He's lifting weights up off you. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for your goodness and your grace. There is none like you. Now take us from glory to glory to glory. I decree it and I declare it and it's established. And everybody said amen. I want you to go to somebody. Just hug them real big right now. Hug them real big. And just say God's here for you today. Say if you only knew what you just pressed through. God's here for you today. Just get out of your seat. Go to seven people. Say welcome to your turnaround season. Just, just welcome them to their turnaround season. I'm going to ask them to put a light right up here, Hank. You can just kind of set it where it's right over this a little bit closer and just kind of shine it right down. Amen. Slap somebody a high five. Say you don't have a clue who you're sitting next to. 
Amen. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, guys. I won't be long, but I'll be strong. I've got a word from God. I told you, I get, I get excited about it. First, our internet for six weeks, or six weeks, I mean for, I guess it's six days plus whatever it was. The last week and a half, people were saying, Pastor Paula, that's a lifeline to me. We get that back up, now the lights. And, and like Delion said, when the enemy starts messing with, because legally he can only do circumstance, not everything's the devil, but there are natural things that begin to happen that when you see an unusual amount of circumstance, you just, I laugh at it. I really do, because it makes us press into a greater place and quite honestly after you've gone through certain things in life other things just don't bother you other thing you just go oh that's nothing I can praise God in the dark I can praise God with music I can praise God without music and you just really learn how to how to enter into that place that it, the, the things that you used to get uptight about really don't have that much value anyway look at somebody slap them a high five and say God has a new thing for you today a new thing and I believe that I want to pastor you today can I teach you we're in our series of building a better you I tell you to take notes but you probably should record this one <laughs> or you're going to be scribbling trying to read it and uh, you probably should record this one or just buy the tape after but it's probably one of the most significant teachings I'm going to do and, and it doesn't surprise me today and I don't you know I'm, I'm about exalting God exalt God and the devil has to flee but it doesn't surprise me because seldom do I usually announce the title of what I'm going to teach on but you, you, if you don't follow me on Facebook you absolutely need to so I was Facebooking yesterday because I was coming out of study and really and I, I said, you don't want to miss service tomorrow because we're going to continue on building a better you, but I'm going to show you how to break generational curses and how to bring forth generational blessing. <laughs> and it just, it's kind of, it's, it's funny to me. It really is humorous because... If you can get, we perish because of lack of knowledge. But if I can get knowledge in God's word and you can show me, I'll never forget Bishop Jakes came here. Every time Bishop's ever been to this house, something crazy like this happens. Every time. The first time a pigeon landed on the transformer and blew out everything. At least I have a microphone. And I'm like, we wanted to raise that pigeon from the dead and then kill it ourselves. I mean, it was just... It's like, and we just kept preaching. I, we, we finally gave him a bullhorn, and when that was going in and out, he's just screaming. And, I mean, but here's the most significant thing. It, this is not an issue today of going to heaven or hell, because your salvation settles that. When you accept Jesus Christ... You are going to spend eternity with God. You're going, you're going to have a life with Him. This is an issue of you fulfilling the plan and the purpose of God and you living victoriously. Because here's the reality. There are many people that are going to go to heaven, but you still live under, uh, when I say a curse, you live under the residue of a curse. Your life is driven more by curse than it is by blessing. And most of that is because we just don't have the proper knowledge of what is a curse what is blessing and how do i break it because if i don't understand it then i can love god but my life doesn't work well christ died to give you an abundant life superior in quality so until your life has quality then you're not living the abundant what i mean by quality that is not simply okay i got a job or i got a new house quality is from the inside that manifests on the outside it means that things like this don't freak you out you aren't all losing your peace and anxiety and where you have a life of quality you're firmly founded and i'm going to teach you the word that generational curses are broken off your life and generational blessings and it's probably probably sincerely the most significant word i will have taught all year long sincerely that's how important this word is today because this word not only establishes for you but also for your children and your children's children and everything that involves itself around you so let's go to joshua chapter 24 as you struggle to read your Bible. <laughs> you can at least look up on the screen. So don't you like that we have it in Spanish now too? Gloria a Dios. Bendecidos. Amen. Joshua chapter 24 verse 15. Let me hear you. 
And if it seem evil, which means grievous, miserable, sad, or trouble, or adverse. If it seem evil unto you to serve. The word serve in the Hebrew means to work, service, and worship the Lord. Choose. Circle the line, choose, or write it down. Choose, because it means select. So God is saying, you get a selection. Choose you this day. Now, the importance of that is every day of your life, you have to have a selection. Every day you have to make a decision. So in other words, you can have a victory in a season of your life, but you can lose that by not choosing or selecting the blessing of God. So this is a daily confession. Somebody say daily confession. So select you what day? This day whom you will serve, whether the gods which were your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. Say it real loud with me. But as for me and my house, which means family and generations, we will serve the Lord. And I want you to say that loud because you're making a declaration, but by the end of service, you'll understand the vital importance. You are decreeing to the atmosphere right now. We will, my generation generations will serve worship work for and serve the lord you ready but as for me and my house my generations and family we will serve the lord both of my daughter-in-laws and my sons are here brandon and brad are sitting somewhere in the dark with their wives and for me and my generations we will serve the lord look at somebody next to you call their name out just say die Say, for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Okay, there are people in your family that are out of alignment with the plan of God, but your declaration over them right now is producing things to be released to them that is going to put them in alignment because you are decreeing the higher authority of the word of God over their